add and subtract the complex numbers. So simplify, right? Simplify just means, you know, get rid of parentheses, combine like terms, all of that kind of stuff. So we're going to take the quantity 4 minus 6i minus the quantity 3 minus 7i. And anytime we're subtracting, whether it's complex numbers or polynomials, you want to make sure that you distribute that subtraction to the second set of parentheses. So I'm going to do that first. Otherwise, you know, a lot of times people forget to subtract the terms after the first term. So I'm just going to rewrite it with that subtraction distributed. So 4 minus 6i minus 3, and then minus negative 7 would actually make a plus 7, so plus 7i. And now I'm going to combine my like terms. So 4 and negative 3, right, those are, are our real numbers, kind of like our constants in a way. And 4 minus 3, or 4 plus negative 3, is 1. And then we have negative 6i plus 7i, right? Don't forget the negative in front of the 6. And negative 6 plus 7 would be a positive 1, and then they both have an i, right? And it just, you only add the coefficients there. You're not going to change anything about the i. That would be if you were multiplying or dividing. So we have 1 plus 1i, which we could just rewrite as 1 plus i. Now if we move on to our second one, um, the quantity negative 3 plus i plus the quantity negative 4 minus i. Here the parentheses aren't really necessary because you're just adding the two, so I'm just going to drop them. Negative 3 plus i plus negative 4 minus i, and if I combine my like terms, negative 3 plus negative 4 is negative 7, and i plus negative i, well that'd be like positive 1 plus negative 1, that's 0i, which is really just 0. So your imaginary terms have canceled out, and you only have your real terms or constant negative 7 left over. 